Hey, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana, and today I am going to share with you how you can get a 3D model just like this one. Okay, maybe not just like this one. That'd be kind of weird. Now, if you missed the first video in this kind of mini series that I'm making here on my channel called how to become a VTuber with animes, definitely check that out because that is how I am indeed moving my model right now and everything and how it is tracking my face. That's going to be a very important, very important free software that you're going to need. So make sure you check that video out. The link will be also in the description for the video and for everything else you're going to need. But that video will teach you how to use OBS to stream or record videos. It will teach you how to uh, basically basically put any model using animes into OBS and things like that. So definitely check out that video first and then come back to this one. Or if you've seen that one, welcome back. I hope you're finding these videos helpful. Let's jump in and get you your Ready Player Me 3D model fully rigged that can actually be put into like almost anything, even VR chat, which is really cool, like a lot of applications. So let's jump into that right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and type in Ready Player me and go ahead and click enter it's going to come up with ready player me or ready player dot me sorry ready player dot me go ahead and click that link right up here it'll say metaverse full body because it's kind of the metaverse because you can use this model in all kinds of different things you can throw it in blender you can throw it into meeting vr it actually shows you vr chat there's like over thousand 180 apps like what that you can use across all kinds of devices, which is crazy. So feel free to check that out if you come to this web page. It'll look just like this when you first click on it. A lot of different uses, but today we're gonna focus on using it for streaming and things like that, or, or content creation in general. So you're gonna see this page. First thing you're gonna wanna do is click over here on create avatar. Click on that and it's going to prompt you to sign in and something really cool is this is like a password free sign in all you need is a confirmation code click here and type in the email of your choice um, and then it's going to send you an activation code just wait a second it takes literally one second copy that activation code in here and it'll sign you in and i'll go through that process real quick and then I'll show you the page that pops up. So here we go. Now it's gonna take you to this page. And as of January 17th, 2022, that's what this page looks like. I know it has changed because I've looked at other tutorials that were made a while ago. None of the ones I found look like this, so they must not be too recent or they've changed it. Cause again, they're always updating and changing things. Just keep that in mind um, that it might look a little different. If it looks super different and this process is super different, maybe I'll make an updated video. And again, I'll leave that in the description if I do make that. But as of right now, this is what it looks like. These are the options that you get. Um, you get masculine, fem feminine, and you don't have to specify if you don't wish to. I'm just gonna go ahead and click feminine. Um, a cool thing that you can do is you can take a picture and basically it has to look like, uh, to give you the best result, it says to take it with a na uh, neutral face, good lighting. So kind of like a driver's license or like an ID photo, like your passport or something. You know how like they make you just sit there like, you know, you just look plain as heck. That's how you got to look with like good lighting, basically, maybe natural lighting. I don't know, go to your window and like take a picture or something. Um, that's the best photo if you take it. It actually is pretty accurate. I've played around with like how to make all kinds of different avatars and it actually works pretty good. So you can feel free to try that or you can go ahead and continue without a photo and just go from scratch. Today, we're just gonna go from scratch. There's a lot of avatars that it gives you. We're just gonna pick the first one because this is obviously just a bit of a tutorial. Um, and it doesn't take that long for it to load it, like five to 10 seconds, like it just said. Um, the site does become a little laggy at times. Um, I don't know if it's cause I'm running it out of Chrome, but that is something that happens. Like you can see, like my mouse is moving pretty smoothly. Um, and this is a little bit laggy. Sometimes it's worse, some days it's worse, some days it's okay. I don't know if it's my internet, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but in case you experience lag, don't worry. I've also experienced some lag, it's not too big of a deal, it's okay. But you can go ahead and change the skin tone to however you wish it to be. Um, there's also um, like f different face shapes if you wish to have like, I don't know, a more square face shape or something, I don't know, whatever you wanna do, you can go ahead and do it and it changes it on the spot. And again, it's a little bit slow, so just wait a second, but it, you know, change it. Actually today it's working pretty quick, not gonna lie. You can change eye shapes, you can change nose shapes, you know, lip shape, all of that. So you can go ahead and do that. And I'm sure there will be more options if you're like, wow, that's not a lot of options. I'm sure they will give more options. They do update this quite regularly. For example, the outfit that I'm wearing currently on my model, 
um, is this outfit and this one's pretty new when I first saw all this stuff this up to this green outfit is the only one that was available and now there's a lot more oh I just realized you can't even see bruh today has been a mess okay now you can see the bottom better <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, all the options are down here. I didn't realize you can see that that well. Um, a cool thing, let me just move myself. You can also see who makes these clothes. They partner with companies to make the uh, clothes and stuff. So for what I'm wearing, it's by Flick Play, which is pretty cool. And that'll always show up at the bottom there um, on all the different outfits. So they got stuff like this. They got these onesie costumes. Um, this takes a minute for you to like load. Load, there we go, load it in. It takes a second for it to load it in, but if you be patient, you'll find it, but you can have tons of different outfits, tons of different looks, you know, pop off, like you can do whatever you want. Um, they do update it quite regularly. So I would recommend following their social media um, on Twitter, for example, they do often let you know like, hey, new outfits from this place or da da. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that you're like every week, you're kind of like, what's going to be new. Um, so I'm sure they'll keep working on this, keep updating it, but there's a lot of cool things that you can, you can pick. So we're just gonna pick like, I don't know, an outfit like this. Like, look how cool this outfit is too. That's up there, like so many outfits. You can also pick hairstyles. Um, and the thing I liked is there's a lot of different hairstyles. Um, for me personally, I have curly hair and it's as you, you know, I got curly hair. So I wanted an avatar that at least had some kind of curly hair. And normally in like games or things like that, it is extremely hard to find. And they actually have quite a few like, different um hairstyles which is really nice that they have that right off rip like for example like curly hairs and it's just so hard to find them in in games um and i really was pleasantly surprised and appreciate that that is included right in here like there's no need to like be like oh i'm gonna have to settle with whatever i find here it's really cool they have a lot of different hair like a lot of different hairstyles as you can see like this bar look at look at that it's like so many hairstyles it's awesome um, so yeah, we'll just stick with this one because it's just the one we landed on. They also have facial hairs and the facial hairs as well look really, really good. Um, as you can see, it, they look really nice. Um, so we got that. We also got eye colors, which you can have in here. And remember anything here that you don't like, you're like, oh, I wish this jacket was red or something like that. You can do that inside of animes. Uh, I showed it in the last video in animes. Um, you can basically just go and customize. You can download the like picture basically that is the texture of whatever, even the face texture. So for example, I downloaded the face texture for this model and put lipstick on her because this lipstick was not available in their makeups. Um, and that's just what I wanted to have. And it was painted. I just kind of like brushed it on, did a couple tests, re-uploaded it, and this is what it looks like. You can customize a lot of different things using animes as well. It's really cool. Ready Player Me gave you that option. Um, it's really, really nice that they've given that option where you can just rip the textures and put them back up. Um, if you want to do that, you just download the photo and you put it in like, I don't know, Photoshop or any program like Photoshop. Just throw it in there paint over it and then put it back in and you'll be able to see the result. If you've ever done it for the Sims, it's like basically exactly the same. I know a lot of people have done it for the Sims. So if you're used to that or you've seen that before, it's exactly the same. Um, so here you can choose eye colors, any kind of eye color, eyebrows, glasses, all that stuff. So it's pretty straightforward, but go in there after you're done customizing to your heart's content, you're good. Press enter hub at the top. And it will start preparing your avatar. And this is basically getting the avatar ready for you to just download it. It's going to be fully rigged. It's going to be ready to go. You can throw it even in stuff like Blender. You could do whatever you want with it, which is pretty cool. So here we go. Here we go. This page always runs so slow. So like if it runs slow for you, it runs slow for me. It's just so slow. So just click on my avatars. This is what I do. I don't even go to that home page because it's so slow. Um, not sure why it's like that, but it is. So this is the page that you're going to come to with your avatar really straightforward if you ever want to copy your avatar to ver for example put it in a new outfit or something like that all you have to do is press create new avatar and literally click on the avatar you already have it'll take a couple seconds and it will make an exact copy of that avatar and then all you have to do is like press edit and then just change up whatever you want but it's the exact same avatar so you could just change the clothing you could change the hair if you want to mix it up or take the glasses off, whatever it is you want to do, you can do that. So now we have two of the exact same, this one's still loading, but they are the exact same as you can see. And you would press edit, just go in there and change it again. That's what I've done to get a new sweater. I have a couple outfits lined up. 
um, that I'll be playing with and getting ready. So over the next couple months, my avatar is not wearing the exact same thing every day. Now that's completely optional. For me, I wanted to change it up a bit, but for you, you might be like, nah, I got my fit. I'm ready to go. It's totally up to whatever you want, but if that was an option you were looking for to have multiple outfits, then you can do that really easily from here. Now, we're at the point where we need to get our avatar. It's like up on this website, how do we get that down? You're like, Tatiana, get to the point. Well, here is how we get it down. You press the three dotted button. I don't know, the three dots. You press the three dots and it will come up with a little menu here. Um, go ahead and just press download avatar. And that's it. You now have an avatar. It's done. Did you see it? It downloaded. We now have it. It's in your downloads folder, fully rigged, ready to go. But how do we get it in animes? I'm gonna show you that real quick. All you gotta do is go to your Steam, which I'll just throw over here. Uh, go into your library. What you're gonna see if you've downloaded animes, which I'm sure you already have, um, you're gonna notice you don't have animes editor. Now, wait, don't go and search for it because you're not gonna find it. You're not gonna find it just searching for it. And your library is probably gonna look like this right now. It's gonna look like just your games and software. All you gotta do is go up to this right here under the home and click tools, okay? And I didn't even know this existed, but once you click this, a whole bunch of other stuff pops up, but underneath animes, you'll see animes editor, which is what you have to use. This software for me is super hard to deal with. Uh, I don't like dealing with it. Um, I've had some problems with it, which I'll talk about with you in a second, but this is how you, like Ready Player Me's website recommends you put this in here. So this is what we're gonna use. Um, this is just a model that I had. What you wanna do is go up to assets, and you're gonna do import 3D object. And then you're gonna go to wherever you've put this file that got downloaded. For me, it's just gonna be in my downloads folder. You can move it, but just go ahead and click import 3D object and click on the file you just downloaded. Once you click on it, this box is gonna come up saying import and it's gonna have this long file, blah, blah, blah. And it's gonna say .glb. That's the file that we need to turn into an avatar file. So you're gonna go ahead, make sure import as says avatar 3d which it should it should say that but just make sure good to be safe and then click import and this is going to take a couple seconds it is even probably going to say it's not responding like it just did it does that the website says it's going to do this just give it a second it's just kind of stirring up it's kind of turning your avatar into a beautiful beautiful uh thing for you to be able to move around and stuff like that so just give it a give it a second Takes a couple seconds, maybe like 20 seconds, and then it will uh, do this. There we go. It will go ahead and come up with this warning. Now listen, I cannot figure out how to stop this thing from being in a T-pose. My avatar is in a T-pose right now because I cannot figure out how to get the arms to go down. It says it needs to be, uh, animes requires this model to be in a T-pose or else it can't get access to like actions and stuff like that. But there are no actions and animations that come with this. I don't know what it's talking about. Maybe I'm just super noob. Like, I, I probably am. I literally can't figure it out. If you figure out how to stop the T-posing, please let me know because I can't figure it out. It comes up with these warnings and it literally says all these warnings are supposed to be there and you just click OK. That's literally what the website says. So I'm assuming it's fine, but I might ask them in like Discord and be like, hey, why is this thing stuck in a T-pose? But your character will be stuck in a T-pose. That's why I usually have mid bust up, like from about here up to see the avatar because if you see the arms from here you know if you're on the computer and doing stuff it doesn't look too weird uh but if you did like above like if i put this avatar above and you saw like that would just look so weird right if you have motion tracking with elite motion for example which i'm hoping to get one day uh that won't be a problem uh, maybe i'll make a video if i ever do get elite motion uh then i will do a video on how that all works with it because i think that'd be pretty cool but for now, this is all I got. If you got something different, if you can fix this, let me know down below and I'm gonna pin that comment if it works and everyone gets to have that information because that's, for me, it's really annoying. I don't know about you, but for me, it's annoying. It's annoying that she's stuck like that. Um, so there you go. You got your avatar in here. Um, go ahead and go up here under free items, okay? And you're gonna just go ahead and right click and you're gonna press bundle. This is what the website recommends to do. You're just gonna press yes and you're just gonna save it. It's gonna pop up, ask you where you wanna save it, save it wherever you wanna save it on your computer, and it will say bundle exported. For me, I just saved it in my downloads folder, but for you, you might wanna have a dedicated folder where nothing moves, um, so animes can find this, so that like everything can find your avatar and where everything is for your avatar, and press okay. 
that's all you need. You can go ahead and close this, close this up. It's gonna say, yep, just close it up. And you're gonna wanna open animes. And here we are, we're in animes. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go up here to your avatars, okay? And you are going to want to, uh, sorry, it's gonna run slow for a minute, okay. Are we good? Yeah, I caught up. Sometimes when you click between stuff, it runs slow. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down here in animes and you're gonna want to go ahead and press plus under my avatars. Click plus, click on the place where your avatar has been saved. For me, it's the downloads folder. Press open. And there we are. There is your avatar. Now, it's gonna come in here pretty small. I still haven't figured that out either. I tried for hours. And when I say I tried to figure this stuff out, I tried to figure this stuff out for a long time. The only way I got around fixing this problem is if I went and made a quick scene, as you can see, and then I just set the quick scene um, to the place where I want them to be standing that's closer. So that's it. If you wanna know how to get this model from in here over to OBS, you're gonna have to go and watch that first video. I go through all of that information in the video and it was pretty well laid out, so I think it's easy to follow. So definitely check out that video. Um, there are timestamps. You're probably gonna wanna look from where I'm talking about face rigging because as you can see, she's not even tracking my face right because um, each skeleton's a little different and you're gonna wanna go into like your settings and go into like tracking configuration. I go into this in that video. Um, if you need any help, you can always leave comments down below, but you know. It's pretty straightforward. Again, also, if you want to change, um, I was talking about textures. I talked about this again in that video, but you would just click on your avatar and then here is where you would download like the image, right? Like for example, look at this creepy face, download it. You could do whatever you want, Photoshop, and then upload and put it back on the avatar. And then, you know, you would get painted lips or put, or put a scar, whatever it is you wanna put on your avatar, you'd be able to do that. So that's it. It's pretty easy and simple to get a 3D model that one could look like you if you wanted or to just make a completely custom model to look any way that you want. There's new outfits, there's lots of features that we went over and I just hope that this video helps you out. If you use the Ready Player Me model, let me know down below, link your streams even. I'd love to see y'all using this information. I feel like not a lot of people are taking advantage of animes or Ready Player Me. It actually is kind of crazy. I tried to find more streamers using it and I couldn't find a lot. So if you're one that uses it and you come across this, please let me know because I think it's really cool to see more people using this. It's personally helped me so much, both animes made by FaceRig and Ready Player Me. It's just, it's helped me so much be able to make a type of stream that I've always wanted to make and just didn't have one, the know-how and two, the resources to make it. And now I can, it's made so simply for me. And I just, I appreciate it so much that I just wanted to share it with everyone else and be like, hey, y'all gotta get in on this. So yeah, feel free to drop a like if this video helped out. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Usually they're gameplay videos, not necessarily how-to videos. Though if you guys really like these types of videos, I'd be down to make some more. They're kind of fun to make. It's kind of exciting. Am I boring? As always, remember to stay safe, hug your loved ones, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.